We continue to follow breaking news. The Fulton County School District now is canceling classes tomorrow because a teacher has tested positive for coronavirus. This teacher had direct contact with a number of students, a lot of staff members at two different schools, at Bear Creek and Woodland Middle Schools. They're in the process of contacting all of those people right now. We are committed to sharing facts, not fear with you. So here's where the situation stands at this point in Georgia right now. The State Department of Public Health says that brings the number of confirmed cases in Georgia to six in Fulton, Cobb and Polk counties. Seven more people having tested preliminarily positive. Those cases still have to be confirmed by the CDC. So we want to emphasize though at this point to our knowledge, no one else, no one else in Fulton County School District has tested positive for the virus beyond that one teacher. Our team is working to bring you the very latest information with reaction from our state leaders. Let's start with Bill Liss, who is at Fulton County School District's headquarters. Bill, the superintendent says right now they want to operate in a state of caution, not negligence. Absolutely right, Cheryl. The problem is now in an abundance of caution, Fulton County is closing all of its more than 106 schools in 14 communities throughout the county. Now, the purpose is to totally assess the impact of the coronavirus and also to cleanse all of those schools as quickly as possible. The virus did fell one teacher at Bear Creek Elementary School and at the middle school here in Fulton County. That teacher was taken to the hospital by ambulance and did test positive for the coronavirus. Now, three schools closed early today, Bear Creek Middle School, Woodland Middle School, and Creekside High School. And Mike Looney explains further. This particular employee had uh, a lot of contact with students that he or she serves and also with additional staff members. We are providing the, the Board of Health, the Department of Health, with the names and contact information for the students that, and employees that we believe might have had direct contact. We have reason to believe that there was direct contact. Obviously, it's a teacher. And so we're counting on them to do follow-ups with those families. We're not health care providers. And so uh, we understand that that's their expertise, and we know that they'll be leaning in with those families and giving them very specific information. Well, Superintendent Looney says that a decision will be made tomorrow whether the schools will remain closed for the rest of the week. As of right now, the schools are only closed for tomorrow, again, for the deep cleaning and really just to assess whatever damage is being caused by the contact that this teacher had with the students. If the schools are closed for more than three days, Fulton County will institute a digital learning program for the students to stay at home. If they don't have computers, they'll be able to access books that will be prepared for them. Also, all the parents out there are advised to go to the Fulton County Schools website for further information and updates. They'll be coming tomorrow. And again, as I said, a final decision on what to do with those 106 schools will be made tomorrow at 6 o'clock, uh, 5 o'clock. But as for tonight, the schools will be closed all day tomorrow. All right, Bill, thank you for all of your great information.